the previous solar cycle, solar cycle number 24, was very mild. The one before that, solar cycle 23, less than 5% of acres in North America had GPS on it. So GPS was not even really widely used then. This was our first time of having a normal solar maximum with GPS. And we're not having severe solar activity. This is normal solar activity if you look at what we've been recording for the last 200, 300 years. Um, and we're about halfway done with solar max. We're on the downhill side of the uh, solar sunspot counts. But that means that this is when the most activity occurs, when we have the most geomagnetic disturbances. So uh, my prediction on this is sort of like the uh, tornado thing. Every 11 years, we should expect more activity, just like we expect activity with tornadoes in April, but this is on an 11-year cycle. And um, for the next, let's say spring 2026, a year from now, we, we will be exiting the danger zone. And so we're going to be in it for the rest of 2025 and probably a good half of 2026. It's going to quiet down for six to seven years, and then it's going to ramp back up again. And assuming we, we still use GPS satellites the way we do now, unless there's better technology that comes out in the next decade, we're going to have the same problem again after 2026.